The next step is to screw down Arduino Uno board and the servo motor driver on that bottom part of the robot using eight M2 by four screws. This part is for Arduino Uno. You can also work with Arduino Leonardo because these two boards are quite the same. And this part is for Arduino, uh, for the servo motor driver. You better put it like this because this is easier for the wiring system. And screw here, here. And then uh, we will press this switch for on and off on this part of the robot. So if you just press it, that's fine. We also have T connectors for the power supply, the male part and the female part. This part must be connected to the power supply and this part must be connected to uh, this place of the robot. So you can glue it down like this or just push it inside this hole. Um, you can also solder the wires here and then press it down, but I prefer to press it and then solder it because um, actually, it sticks better. Um, this is the cable that I want to use for the power supply and connections to the on-off switch from here to there and um, also connected, connected to the power supply. Um, this is AWG22, I think. That's fine, but if you want to work with um, a little bit bigger one or wider area, that's fine also, but that works for this project. Just to show you the wirings, um, this switch has two connectors like this, and uh, I want to solder one of them to this pin of the female connector, female T connector. So if you press it down like this, in the robot this would be the positive part of the power supply and this is the negative one so i will connect the positive one to this and the other to the power supply so in this way we can um, connect and disconnect the power wire of the, uh, the actually the positive part of the power supply This is how it should look like at the end of um, soldering. This is the positive part, positive pole of the power supply. This is the negative one. So I still don't use this one, okay? And this is the on off switch. I used red color for it because I want to show that this is the positive pole of the power supply, which is going to be connected and disconnected. So now we have one positive and one negative going into our main circuit. Now we're gonna assemble the controller part of the robotic arm. This is a very small arm, which is going to control your robotic arm. You can move it and then your ro robotic arm will move um, accordingly. So we need four 
10 kilo, kilo um, of potentiometers or volumes and um, they have three pins, one for ground or GND, another one for VCC or the positive pole and the middle one is going to be the actually the set point or the signal of these four potentiometers. So the ground will be connected to the another ground, another ground and the last ground and then to the ground of the circuit. The positive point as well, positive, connect to positive, positive and another positive. And uh, the signal one goes separately and independently to the main circuit for this one, also for this one and the other ones. And all of these potentiometers will go inside these uh, designed holes. Just you can press and connect them like this. That's very easy. This is how I solder the wires to the pins of each potentiometer. Uh, red for the positive, black for negative, and white is for the signal. Uh, the signal which is the set point. This is how it looks like after soldering. You can see that we have only one red wire connected to all of them and then this is the output of that one wire and also one black wire which is the ground connected to all of them also and we have four different white wires which are the signals like the output of these four potentiometers so only one black only one red but four different white and we also have another push button here. It should be connected to this part. And uh, it also needs only one black wire because it needs ground. And then one output, which is also black, which goes out to the main circuit. Now we can see the wires and cables. Uh, this is the servo motor driver board and this is the Arduino Uno. And uh, here you can see the cables coming out from the arm to the uh, driver module. This is um, like you can see from here, from top to down. This is the uh, hand or the gripper servo motor, which was a micro servo. The next one is the wrist. The next one is the elbow, shoulder, which was 20 kilogram servo and the base one, which was another standard servo. So um, you can also see the complete pin map at the end of the video. And uh, these two are the power supply wires. So you can see, um, just hold on a second. They're coming from this part, the power supply socket and the switch. So far I completed the board, the wiring, and uh, I soldered the wire, the white wires coming from those potentiometers, but I didn't have enough pin headers like these three cables, these three wires. I had to solder them here directly in the back of the Arduino board because I didn't have enough headers, but pin headers, but if you have, you can just uh, directly insert in this part. So uh, that's done all the details related to the assembly part of the electronic system is attached to the end of these videos. Now I would like to connect this front side and screw it down. Using M2 screws.
I'm using um, M2 by six millimeter screws to attach the bottom part. We need seven, four for this part and three for the, uh, like, uh, the circular part. And now I'm connecting these two stabilizing feet like this here uh, using two M3 by eight millimeter screws. Now that everything is done, uh, we need to program the robot. But first of all, you need to unlock and release all the servo motors and set them to free position. Because when we program the servo motors, as you know, each servo motor has a zero position. Like a normal, when, when we start, it goes to a zero position. And we don't know where the zero position of each servo motor is. So we need to adjust easily release them like this also this one and then we may need to open this screw also this servo motor by removing this gear so these two would be um, free and then also here we have one servo motor here so we need to open the screw So it is completely free. You also need to open this servo, this screw, and um, release this servo motor head so it can move easily. Then when it's in the zero position, you can place it exactly like this. So we know that this position is zero. Same for all other servo motors. This one is also okay. And now we will connect the power supply and the USB cable of the Arduino so we can program it using the computer. One last thing is that you should make sure that your robot controller should be exactly in the same uh, in the similar position like this because this is the zero position exactly similar to what you will see on your robot when it's in the zero position 
and then when you will uh, move this part the robot will, will move accordingly so you should make sure that when you are going to set everything to zero and we, when you pro want to program the robot this is the um, like the status and the position of the robotic arm controller okay now i've connected it to the power supply now i turn it on wait a couple of seconds you will hear the sound so it means that the serial motors are connected and uh, they are actually in zero position as you can see here the controller is also in the zero position so now i can make sure that everything is in the zero position and i can um, put every servo horn and um, gears just connect everything screw it up and then everything's done i just turn it off So this must be a zero position for this one. Okay guys, everything's done here and um, I screwed every component. The only thing which is left is this part, which is going to be glued right here so that these um, gears will be covered, but it's not something very necessary. So if, if you want to just see them, leave it like this. Otherwise you have to put some glue and then put it here. Now we will um, test the robot using this arm. So you can rotate it and you can see each joint, each arm, and then test your robot. Well, everything is done so far. The only thing which is left is to program our robot. So let's go to the programming part.